Hey everyone, it's technology expert Burton Kelso here with another tech tip to help you get the most out of the technology in your life. Today we're talking about Facebook Protect and do you really need to turn it on? Well, it turns out that a lot of you have been messaging me on social media as to if you should turn on Facebook Protect to keep your Facebook account safe and secure. Well, I have to share with you that Facebook Protect is a legitimate program from Facebook. And if you get the alert on your Facebook account that you should turn it on, then you definitely need to do it. Now with all things cyber and especially with social media accounts, there have been messages coming around from cyber criminals saying that you need to turn on Facebook Protect. Under most circumstances, if you need to turn on Facebook Protect, your account will alert you that you need to turn on Facebook Protect. Why? Well, Facebook Protect is a product that Facebook enables for accounts that have a certain amount of users to it. So the whole idea that if you have become a target for cyber criminals to get access to your account, Facebook recommends to those accounts that you need to turn Facebook Protect on. Now, the good news is, is that if you've never received a Facebook Protect message within your Facebook account, then you don't even need to worry about it. But if you've got an active sec uh, social media or Facebook account, you do need to take heed and turn on Facebook Protect. Now, Facebook Protect's been around since at least 2022. And I think the surge of messages that people are getting about Facebook Protect is because cyber criminals who are always looking for ways to trick you into falling for schemes have figured out how to copy the Facebook Protect message and they will send this message through your Facebook Messenger. Now, if it comes through Messenger, then it will be a link to a bogus website that you need to turn on Facebook Protect. But I would think at this day and age, if unless you've grown your Facebook account tremendously over the past year or two, you probably won't even get a message. But if it does show up in Messenger, you want to ignore it and you want to do the following instead to see if you've got Facebook Protect. So let's talk about what you need to do in order to keep or to turn on Facebook Protect. So again, it's checking your account, meaning Facebook, for any vulnerabilities. And you can do this to your own. So let's switch to the desktop and go to my Facebook account. Modest following, but yeah, I do. OK, so what you want to do for starters is to let's follow the the mouse and go up to the upper right hand corner where you've got your picture of your account. Once you go to your account, then you want to go to settings and privacy. And as you can see from Facebook, you can find out all of your profiles that you are monitoring, meaning your business accounts. But for this instance, and for all of your other accounts, you just need to go to settings and privacy. Now, I want to remind you when you are looking to protect your Facebook account, you need to protect your personal account above all because your business accounts are just add ons to your main profile or your main Facebook account. Once we do that, or actually, let's go back. So again, we're going to click on our Facebook profile photo. Once we're there, we need to click on settings and privacies. Once we go to settings and privacy, we need to click on settings and it is convoluted. I don't know why they haven't changed this thing down so that you can just get to where you need to go because we're going to go back to the same section again. So once we get to settings and privacies, we need to go to the password and security section 
to get to the area where you can turn on Facebook Protect. And then one last step, people. Let's go to Password and Security. And as you can see, on my account, Facebook Protect is on. The reason it's on with my account, because I got an alert a few years back saying, hey, you need to turn on Facebook Protect and on or else. Now, we're going to make good use out of this video because while we're in the new accounts center for Meta and password and security, you need to make sure that you've enabled all of this security in order to make sure your Facebook account is going to be protected. So with my account, since Facebook Protect is on, we can click on what it it is going to say about advanced security for Facebook Protect. So we can learn more by going to some of the sections here. But if your Facebook Protect is off, and we're going to go back to that long process of settings, privacy and settings and privacy, then settings, and then to passwords and security, and one more time for password and security. But everything in this section you should check because the amount of Facebook accounts that are being stolen is at epidemic levels. So under password and security, under the Meta Account Center, you definitely want to go in and make sure you check all of these settings other than just making sure that Facebook Protect is on. Again, Facebook Protect is legitimate. You do need to make sure that it's on if you get an alert within Facebook. Never from Messenger that you need to turn on Facebook Protect. It'll pop up on your account, but you're not going to get a message from Facebook via email or in Messenger about Facebook Protect. Again, if you're not getting the message, don't worry about it. If you are, go ahead and turn it on. Now, going back to our Meta Account Center under Password and Security, there are other things that you need to check as far as Facebook is concerned. You can make sure that you want to turn on two-step or two-factor authentication for your Facebook account, but even before that, when was the last time you changed your password for your Facebook account? Since you're under passwords and security, now is a good time to change those passwords. Same for setting up two-factor or two-step authentication. One of the things or two of the things that get Facebook accounts hacked are the fact that people are using old passwords. And the other thing is that they aren't setting up two-step or two-factor authentication. Two things that allow criminals to easily log into your Facebook account. And never, I'm going to come back to me, never ever think it can never happen to you because if you don't have those things turned on, it can definitely happen to you. So the other things that you want to check other than Facebook Protect uh, turned on you want to see where you're logged into. So you can click in and see how many devices are logged in to make sure some criminal isn't accessing your stuff. Login alerts is also great to turn on. Recent emails I'm not really too concerned about, but it doesn't hurt. And we'll click on it real quick. To run Meta's security checkup. And doing so will let you know your password's okay two-factor or two-step authentication is turned on, and you have login alerts turned on. All of the things that you need in order to have a safe Facebook account that is not going to be hacked. Now, again, we're gonna, I'm going to say it. <laughs> Facebook Protect is real. Now, if you get the alerts within the Facebook app or on your computer, Follow the prompts and make sure you turn on Facebook Protect. If you're not getting the alerts within the Facebook app or on the web browser version of Facebook, don't worry about Facebook Protect. But again, if Facebook Protect shows up in Messenger or in an email, you do not want to follow the link and try to click on Facebook 
through there because it's something that needs to be turned on with the app to ensure that it's within Facebook and that you're not going to fall for a scam from a cyber criminal. So with that said, if you've got comments or questions about Facebook Protect, leave them in the comment section below because I know there's a lot of you out there that are getting your Facebook account stolen and this video is showing you what you need to do in order to properly turn on Facebook Protect and what things you need to do in order to secure your accounts. Now, I know you know somebody out there that's struggling with some sort of problem with Facebook or their technology. So be sure to comment, share, and like this video so that your friends will be able to get know-how in order to keep their Facebook accounts safe. So with every video that I make, my goal is to make sure that you are opened up to a whole new world of ideas and experiences when it comes to your technology at home and at work. Uh, I've read, I love technology. I've read all the manuals and I'm serious about making technology fun, safe, and easy to use for everyone. So take care of yourself and do many things to make you smile. And thanks for watching.